Hello viewers, this is your tutorial on how to automate broadcast messages on LinkedIn using Socinator. Sending messages has never been easier on LinkedIn, thanks to Socinator. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your LinkedIn account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on LinkedIn through Socinator. Let's click Broadcast Messages. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to send messages to a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for broadcast messages activity. Let's start with connection sources. So the first one is by software or the connections you made using Socinator. The next one is outside software, so the connections you made yourself. Next, we have custom users list. If you click it, you can enter a profile URL of the LinkedIn user you want to send a message to. So let's say you have copied and pasted the profile URL here. If you want to delete, click the clear all button and it's gone. You may also click this button to import from CSVR text file. Select the right file and click open. When you're done, click save. So this will message that specific LinkedIn user. Next, we have group sources. If you click it, you have the option to enter join group URLs. So let's say this digital marketing group, for example. So copy the group URL here, paste it in this box. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons, and when you're done, click Save. So this will target the members of this specific LinkedIn group and message them. Now we have Input Messages. Here we can create and manage the messages we want to send on LinkedIn. So if you hover on Spin Tags, you can see the format. You can add several messages, each separated by that symbol. Let's try it out in this area. So let's say, hey, separate with a symbol, hi, separate again with a symbol, hello, then close parenthesis. So if you check spin tax, then it will randomly select any of these messages. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons. You may also click the photo button over here to attach a picture. Select the right file and click open and it will be attached to your message. If you hover on tag, you can see the format in tagging LinkedIn accounts. So first name, last name, full name, from first name, from last name, from full name. For queries, this depends on the connection sources we set earlier. So you can choose one or two or all of them. Since we only checked by software, then check by software. Then when you're ready, click the Add Message to List button, and it will be added to the Messages list over here. So you can see the messages, the query, and the Action button over here will allow us to edit or delete the message. The next configuration category is Job Configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should send messages on LinkedIn. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like Slow with an average daily activity, so 66, Medium with 145, Fast with 250, or Super Fast with 416. Super Fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click Advanced Settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each LinkedIn account is messaged. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after sending the number of messages you set in number of messages per job. Number of messages per job will allow you to specify the number of LinkedIn users you want to message per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of LinkedIn users to message per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max connections to message per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep messaging users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. 
you can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval. And it's added. Let's add another one on the same day, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it link in message and click save. You can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing LinkedIn message. The next tool is user filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to message on LinkedIn. So for example, check this if you want the user to have a profile picture. Next, check this one if you want the user to have at least 500 connections. The third one will allow you to target those who enable advanced bio and skills. Speaking of bio, you can specify the minimum characters in the bio of the users you want to target. Next is must contain specific words. Check it so that you can type what words the user should have in their bio description. So let's say expert, for example. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. And when you're done, click save. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. So these are the words that should not be in the user's bio description. So let's say fresh graduate, for example. So again, you may clear or import using these buttons. And when you're done, click save. The next one will allow you to specify the minimum number of skills count for the users you want to target. So let's say at least five. Then check the following boxes if you want them to have experience details as well as education details. Finally, the last tool is manage blacklisted users. Blacklisted users are the LinkedIn accounts you do not want Socinator to interact with. So if you skip blacklisted users, then Socinator will not message them. This can either be a private blacklist, which belongs to a specific LinkedIn account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start sending messages on LinkedIn, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, let's click the Status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating broadcast messages on LinkedIn using Socine. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop-down button and select LinkedIn. It will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the messenger tab and select broadcast messages on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it LinkedIn broadcast messages. For connection sources, let's select by software or by Socinator. For input messages, let's say hello for example queries by software then let's click add message to list for job configuration let's select slow for other configurations you have the option to message unique users from each account so check it if you want to then for user filters must have profile picture must have 500 plus connections must have experience details and education details then let's skip blacklisted users private blacklist when you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple LinkedIn accounts. Since you only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our LinkedIn broadcast messages campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.